guys welcome and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching on today's video i'm going to show you guys how to bleach knots on a 13 by 4 frontal the hair is from arabella hair as you can see it comes in a very nice a pink um little dust bag and it has well they gifted me a few things as well we're gonna get into that uh, later on in the video um i'm literally just taking the hair out i'm gonna show you guys how it looks this is their uh 13 by 4 peekaboo hair peekaboo red hair um i took this in a i think 12 inch this is a 12 inch wig the hair is absolutely amazing the quality is top notch as you can see i'm just like gliding my fingers into it and i'm showing you guys how um the hairline is looking it's absolutely gorgeous um here i'm just zooming in to like show you guys the peekaboo effect i mean wow this is absolutely amazing the hair is soft and um i mean it just works really really well tangle free um it comes with a very big elastic at the back this gives you the option of wearing it as a glueless wig it has a comb in front two on both sides and one comb at the back so i'm just showing you guys how the um the net looks inside it has the adjustment straps on both sides as well and yeah so i'm just really brushing the hair down with my fingers as you can see it's tangle free and if you're not really into like um, plucking the hairline or whatever you could really get away with just wearing this as as it is as it comes this is supposed to be the hd lace if i'm not mistaken here i'm just showing you guys what you will need to um bleach the knots you need these tools and products in order to achieve that no lace effect um yeah and i really do recommend using gloves because the products are quite harsh and you don't want to damage your skin so first things first i like to spray all the flyaways away using my um got to be i just spray that all over the hairline and i comb the hair backwards just to get rid of any hair that's standing in the way so this is just like the prep before the actual um bleaching begins i edited this video in real time because i wanted you guys to see how um i'm doing everything step by step i did not speed up any process so do excuse me if the video is a little bit long um yeah and it's quite repetitive and i wanted i did it on purpose so people can actually get the point so you guys can actually understand that it's just a repetition of the same thing over and over to achieve the hairline that you desire or to achieve the bleached knot that you want so right about now i am going to mix the bleach to my desired consistency to the consistency which i feel is the best um i use two scoops of powder bleach the blue one and i use a 30 percent volume activator i like to use 30 percent because it's safe and you have less chances of over bleaching your knots um in comparison to a 40 or 50 percent activator so i literally just use two scoops and i eyeball the activator so right now it's not where i want it to be it's still a little bit like of a more sand consistency so i just go in with a little bit more of the activator and you guys will see in a minute that it actually turns into a very nice thick and that's what you're trying to achieve that's what you want in order for um the bleach to not seep through your lace when you start applying so this is just a little test that i do to know that the consistency is perfect i turn the bowl upside down and if nothing spills or nothing messes i know that's where i want it to be and from here i can literally just start applying this on my frontal So I always advise when applying the bleach to your wig to turn the wig upside down or should I say inside out and um, when you start applying always start from the back you do not want to start straight 
on your hairline because it tends to bleach really quickly because there is um the the density in front is much less than what's at the back so i always recommend that you start at the back and be very very light-handed it kind of looks like i'm pressing hard on here but don't worry about it it was pretty light um if you have a longer brush i would recommend that you hold it at the tip so you can have less control just to avoid you um pressing any harder than you actually should have because i've done this countless times i literally just apply the bleach at the back and then i start applying the bleach on the hairline i make sure i apply a little bit over the hairline so just to make sure that i get every single knot in um to avoid double bleaching because that's when people tend to um over bleach when you bleach the frontal again because i don't know for whatever reasons so literally just apply the bleach beyond your hairline So I leave the bleach on my frontal for a good 50 minutes when using the 30% developer. I feel like when you leave it for 50 minutes, you really do get that scalp look that we all trying to achieve. So when your bleach starts looking foamy, that's when you know it's ready, it's ready to get washed. Here I'm just showing you guys the products that I'm going to use to wash off the, um, the bleach. That's a purple shampoo and you want to go in with normal shampoo and a conditioner. So this is what I meant by saying you have to apply the bleach uh, beyond your hairline just to make sure you have every single bit of hair. I'm just showing you guys how it's looking right now. Um, it's really foamy and it's kind of like flaking off, falling off. So I'm just going to go in with warm water and wash the bleach off. Make sure you have the bleach completely off the closure before you start to shampoo um, and condition. already here you can see the hairline is giving the hairline is giving everything it's supposed to give i mean the knots are bleach to the t it's absolutely gorgeous tell me guys where is the lace because i do not see the lace at all at this point you want to go in with your purple shampoo to get rid of that yellow brassiness that you see right there i really really go in with the stuff i use as much as possible because i'm trying to get the natural look 
So just wrap the purple shampoo all over the frontal um, really get in there and make sure the brassiness goes away because that's one thing we do not want we do not want our lace or our frontal to look like it's over bleached So next up, I'm just going in with a normal Garnier shampoo. I absolutely love the shampoo because it has a very rich smell. I always recommend that you use a shampoo that smells nice because the hair has been processed. So it smells like factory stuff and you don't want that. So um, I really recommend that you use a really good smelling shampoo just to get a really good fragrance to get rid of all that chemical and processed stuff so now i am going in with the conditioner i really used a generous amount of the conditioner i really wanted my wig to smell good and smell rich so i went in like crazy with the conditioner as well So this part really got me excited you guys because where's the lace i do not see the lace the knots are bleached to perfection and i was just shocked at this point honestly i was taking everything i was just taking it all in so i like to leave my wig um just to air dry sometimes two to three days just to minimize the heat used on the unit so now we're coming into my favorite part i'm just showing you guys everything you'll need to 
pluck the hairline you need a water bottle with some water inside a hair tie and obviously tweezers a red tail comb and a hot comb So first things first, I usually just take the hair and tie everything back just so I can really focus on the hairline. So I like to keep my um, doll head in between my legs because this is the most comfortable position for me. So you just find what works for you, what's comfortable for you to pluck. I find it so comfortable when I keep the doll head in between my legs. Um, right now I am just going to part out the hairline. I usually leave um, the hairline as it is, as it was manufactured and I start plucking behind the hairline. You guys are going to see at the end I'm going to pluck everything all together. But to avoid over plucking, I like to leave the hairline out first and then pluck behind the hairline. I'm going to just let the video roll. This is really self-explanatory. Just watch carefully and see what I do. And literally, this is just practice, practice, practice. The more you do it, the better you get at it. So, yeah, guys, just practice. So what I do is hold my doll head stable, plug on one spot but keep it moving. Do not stay in one spot for a very long time. As you can see, I would plug on one spot like maybe two times and then move over. So just literally do that because if you do stay in one spot, you um, risk over plucking and when you over plug you have a bald spot and that's just what we don't want so just literally practice do not stay at the same spot that's the most important thing you need to remember As you guys can see my hairline is coming together so this is where i take the hairline that i parted out comb everything back to see if it's blended or if i need to pluck on the actual hairline some more but right now i am really not liking the way it's looking so i just went in with the tweezer one more time to plug on the hairline here you have to be very very light-handed because the hairline is pretty thin you do not want to you don't want to over plug you do not want the bold spot so you really have to be light-handed here and like leave really big spaces in between when you are plugging the hairline
so i'm literally gonna do the same thing on the other side leave out the manufactured hairline start plugging from the back and when i am happy with that with what i've plugged i brush the manufactured hairline back and plug some more just to get a uniformed hairline everywhere So now i'm just going to go in with my hot comb to really really define the hairline as you guys can see the hairline is exactly how i want it to be and it's a more a natural look it's not over plugged or under plugged it's how i like it i find this perfect so i just go in with the hot comb to really just smooth out the hairline and comb all the hairs back the hairline turn out to be just perfect if you guys do follow these steps step by step trust me your hairline will look exactly like mine so i hope this video really helped you guys when i'm um, trying to pluck the hair or bleaching the knots stay tuned for part two that's when i'm going to install the hair and yeah thank you all so so much for watching please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell to get notified every time i post a new video i love you guys bisous bye